Greetings, Grapple fans. It's Mike Quackenbush serving up an all-new podcast to go that features action from our Chikaratopia exclusive program, The Hour of Power. On the most recent Hour of Power, one half of Team Sea Stars, Ashley Vox, went one-on-one -on -one with the mighty Murloc, and that match is here in its entirety just for you. It is main event time. Our third and final feature contest is about to take the ring. I'm Mike Black, proceeding with Scott Holiday for the main event on the Hour of Power. It is a singles match that will pit Murloc. Making his way to the ring, the murky, murderous, menace of the deep, Murloc. Murloc set for singles action, and thus far in singles competition, this guy has been about as impressive a new addition to the roster as anyone we've seen in years, Scott. This is a monster bent on destruction. He actually had three points, but actually lost them due to a double countout. I don't think he cares. Yeah, I don't know how much the accumulation of points or championship titles matter to this guy. And his opponent! Boy, oh boy, will Ashley Fox have her hands full with Murloc. Her way to the ring! Being accompanied by Jocelyn! One half of the Sea Stars, Ashley Fox! Jocelyn, very excited, but Ashley Fox, very intense. She knows what she's in for when she faces Murloc. Yeah, these two face off here at National Pro Wrestling Day. That was back in February, where Murloc eliminated both sea stars from the Young Lions Cup tournament. And they tangled as well when we were down in Orlando. They were on opposite sides of a trios match. And thus far, I mean, we've barely seen anybody even take Murloc off of his feet, let alone beat this guy. We haven't seen him pinned. We haven't seen him submit. The bell has sounded. Oh, Ashley's off. She is out of the box, hot. Coming out of the starting gate with a series of drop kicks. I like this strategy, Scott. Ashley's got to get her advantage right away. Can't let Murloc, well, there we go. Murloc got her hand, his hands on her and down she went. The one thing that Ashley Vox has over Murloc right now is experience. She's been in there a lot with him. Maybe she has cracked the code on how to take down this huge piranha. You could be right. She's going to have to use her speed as well. Murloc will not be able to match her in the speed department, but she is no match for him when it comes to strength and power, and he is brutal. Murloc staggered. Ashley screaming. Up and around. What's it going to be? Oh, I thought she wanted a satellite head scissor, but Murloc just stopped her and drives her into the mat with authority. Shook the building. Felt that all the way here at Commentation Station. And we're kind of like a room away from where the ring is located here at the Wrestle Factory. You felt that tremor go right through the floor. Murloc not going for a cover. Handful of hair. Murloc's got Ashley Box scooped and right back down into a gut buster. Quick reversal of direction. Ashley going away. Mm -hmm. She is in a world of hurt already. But that's how quickly Murloc can change the momentum in a match. It really just takes one move from a guy like this, and the pendulum swings. Backed into that corner. Nowhere to go. Murloc with more evil intentions. Huge headbutt. You hear Jocelyn there trying to give her support. All the way across the ring, though. Had a handful of hair, it looks like to me, and flung Ashley across the ring. Yeah, they went just about the entire distance there. This is such a powerful competitor. And like you alluded to earlier, trying to match him in the power department is mission impossible. Ashley needs to use her quickness. Jocelyn trying to get the Chikarmi behind Ashley Fox here. Well, that's usually not very hard. Team C stars among the most very popular here on our roster. Oh, man, look at this! What a display of raw power from Murloc. He just picked her up and, I mean, it was a power bomb, but only by circumstance, because he just flung her recklessly down to the mat. And with ease, there was no struggle on the end of Murloc. But the Jakarmi getting to the head of Murloc here. 
well. Even distracting him for a moment is probably the most they could hope to do and allow Ashley to take another deep breath. And when you can't catch your breath, your speed will not avail you. You can't really tell what he's doing here. Just mucking with the facial features of Ashley Vox is Murloc. Murloc almost using Ashley's hair to obscure what he was doing. Thus, Bryce couldn't get in there to end it. Yeah, it's a weird way in which his fingers are taped up. You gotta wonder, why does he do that? What is he hiding? Now, well, right here, I mean, it was just fish hooking her to be plain about it. No pun intended, I assure you of that. And just tosses her away. You'll know when the puns are intended, that's what I'm saying. Murloc stalking his prey. Ashley Box really struggling to get back to her feet. She has not shown a whole lot offensively in the last minute or two. Throwing a forearm, that might be all she's got left. And absolutely no effect. Boy, boy. Even what we've seen previously in matches, I don't know that we've ever seen Ashley take this kind of punishment. And not unlike with O'Barian earlier, what we were saying when uh, the Cajun Crawdad was in the room with him, Ashley who has got to adapt to singles competition. She had very few singles matches in her career. She's been teaming with her sister, Delmi, practically her entire pro wrestling career. We're like just marching around the ring using one arm all the way across into those turnbuckles. Scooped her up and ran her into the buckles. Ashley Box is in all kinds of trouble and she's got nobody to tag. She's all alone in the ring with the powerful piranha, Murloc. Murloc just sizing up his prey. Yeah, he's in no rush, is he? Very methodical on the attack is Murloc. Big clothesline there. You'll also notice Murloc has not done anything to attempt to win this match. We haven't seen any covers. We haven't seen any submission holds. This is just about hurting Ashley Vox right now. Yeah, there's no better term for it than stalking his prey. Ashley was able to get away off to another corner. Didn't matter. Murloc just keeps his eye on the action. Again, just digging his fingers into her face. Now the forearm. Yeah, really enjoys punishing his opponents. We saw this mean streak in him all throughout more than Mania Weekend when we were recently on tour down in Orlando, Florida, just three weeks ago. Now, both of those events, Turn Left and Bad Wolf, available to stream or download at chikarapro.com. For those of you, of course, you're watching with us on chikaratopia.com, you know those events get added to the vault 30 days after they get posted up on chikarapro.com. Wait Jordan, a minute. Look at Ashley that. Ashley Fox. Really starting to bring the fire, Ashley. Uh, just that quick, she got shut down by Murloc. An impressive flurry, though, from one half of the Sea Stars. Can't count Ashley Vox out, but she's got to find something. Big kick to the head. Throwing a kick from underneath. Firing away here, Ashley Vox doing her best to rock Murloc. Both feet there grazed him on top of his skull. I think she's going to need to put more impact on it. Look at that big head of steam. Work. Here he comes. Whoa. He just hit that buckle with everything. She's got to keep moving. She's got to get out of the way. Murloc's going to charge again here, Scott. Moves out of the way. All oh, impact for Murloc. Ashley, this is your moment. you got to take advantage. Oh, Murloc. Slips out of the way. He went all the way out to the corner post. He struck the iron post. Murloc dazed. This is Ashley's best opportunity right here. And what a coup it would be for Ashley Vox to be the first member of the roster to beat Murloc. High cross body finds the mark. Murloc powers out. Yeah, he just sloughed her off right after two. Murloc days though, Ashley's got to get up. Don't let that frustration sink in. Ashley now starting to turn things around. She's got to go low to put those uppercuts beneath the jaw of Murloc. Yeah, those forearms are working way better. Not letting Murloc get back to his feet. He needs to turn up the speed, I think. Yeah, she's got to get away from him. He's got a handful of her hair now. Breaking free. Off the ropes. Oh, knee to the midsection. Just took all the starch right out of Ashley Vox. She's trying her very, very hardest there. Got her second oh, win and was able to rock the big man a couple of times. Actually had things going in her direction, which is more than most other members of the Chikara roster could say. Oh, is he thinking up here? They're out on the apron. We've seen all kinds of Super Samoan drops. I don't want to see a third today. Drop kick. Yeah, just enough to, kind of like a grazing blow there. And Murloc's dropping out to the floor. Uh -oh. Ashley's going to accelerate herself. Low flying tope. Murloc has caught her. 
What is this? Oh, oh, huge slam down onto the floor of the Wrestle Factory. Ashley might be out. The Jakarmi just trying to will her back to her feet, but I don't know. Yep, Jocelyn cheering on Ashley Vox. Oh boy, I don't like This is, uh, Jocelyn is not a wrestler. Jocelyn's gotta run away. Yeah, I think Jocelyn, I think, oh boy. Oh no, 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 no. He has picked Jocelyn right up. And she has, she has done nothing physical in this match whatsoever. She is not an active participant. Oh, against the wall there. Just chucked Jocelyn, did Murloc. Uh, once again, Jocelyn is not a wrestler. Jocelyn is not a participant in this match. She is just out there to lend moral support to Ashley Vox as she would anytime the Sea Stars are in action. If we could send someone out there to check on Jocelyn. This match continues. Well, I don't know that our staff even know what to make of this. Yeah, you can see a couple of them trying to wave off Murloc, who, oh boy, just sent Jocelyn. I'm not really sure where they're at. They're back here in the rear of the Wrestle Factory now, back where our merchandise is staged. Someone needs to stop this. Well, Ashley Vox, I think, unfortunately, is just, oh boy. Just hits her with that table. A real non-factor here. Ashley Vox was slammed onto the concrete floor here at the Wrestle Factory. Well, Jocelyn is really in harm's way here, and Murloc, Murloc what's he doing? Into the Good fridge. Grief. Good grief. Somebody stop this. this we is, need security. Yeah. We need people. This is... Uh, Bryce is in there trying to do something. Yeah. Bryce, this match has to have been thrown out. Yeah, I don't know what other possible... Ver this is ridiculous. Murloc has just stuffed Jocelyn into the Wrestle Factory refrigerator, is what we have just seen here, fans. And I can assure you, the members of our staff are as stunned by this as I am right now at Commentation Station. This is unwarranted, this is unnecessary. Jocelyn is not a wrestler. She is a non-participant in this match. And Ashley Vox, I think if she realizes what has happened here, yeah, does not even care about Murloc at this point. She is ultimately concerned, as are all of we, with what has happened to Jocelyn at this Screaming point. Screaming for her friend. Jocelyn is in the refrigerator. I tell you what, we're gonna make an executive decision right now here. This is the director of fun, and let's get everybody on the channel. We are cutting the stream. Yeah, cut this we off, please. We are going off the air right now. Thank People, you. People, please. Cut it.